honestly, uh, I got a lot of really good information um, from the meet. I didn't have any really strict time goals. It was just fun going into the meet with my teammates uh, with execution goals, race strategy goals, and I think I explored some of those really well. Um, a lot of it comes down to building confidence um, with my race strategy and just knowing I can always fall back in the hard training we've been putting in. I think a lot of people have trouble with that, um, me being one of them, absolutely, like not always trusting myself to be more bold, and that's something that's absolutely gonna have to take place at Olympic trials. So um, I got a chance to push it in places of the race I'm not normally willing to push it and see how that went, and all in all, very happy with it. Um, and now it's just taper and trials in three weeks from Sunday, so yeah. Uh, so we just doing a lot of really hard, um, it's like, it was like a very condensed mini season of training, so uh, I've always kind of wondered what it would be like, and I obviously didn't get to experience what it was going to be like last year, so um, yeah, we worked pretty hard for, I'd say like, honestly it's kind of all blended, <laughs> blurring together. I think it was like probably like four really solid weeks of hard, long aerobic training, um, really condensed weightlifting, um, and we had a pretty... Uh, concise like plan of like what are we gonna do to make sure that we can do as much without doing too much um, and yeah so we just we started coming down a little bit here and there just to kind of keep us because we don't we don't, want, we don't have enough time to get into the hole and come back out I think it's kind of like Texas tradition like people expect us to like be really slow in season there's not enough time with a slightly earlier trials this year coming right after uh, NCAA so um, we never really got in the hole but just did some solid training to, to kind of let's say, ma maintain the aerobic base so yeah Team perspective, I couldn't ask for anything more. We won, and that was, I was, that's all I've been dreaming of since I committed to Texas when I was a junior in high school. It's all I've been really obsessively thinking of ever since we lost in 2019. And uh, so, from a team perspective, I can't ask for anything more. Um, it was a really unique experience to, to win, but also be able to look at all the ways we could have been better because there was, in, in many ways, we, we fell short. And it just turned out that we could pull, pull it together and um, keep some momentum going when we really needed to. But we definitely have a lot of room to improve. And so we're already really excited for next year because we want to be much better. Um, and from an individual perspective, uh, can't complain, honestly. It's uh, got some best times, got some ads, which was um, unfortunate. But um, all in all, I actually had a really great time. It was like one of the most fun meets I've ever been to. Which was which is cool because in 2019 that was not the case. I did not have fun. I was like really focused on being like in the zone and like really blocking absolutely everything out. But I tried a different approach this this season. Just really enjoyed it. I was we were always cracking jokes, just being goofy in the stands whenever we could, especially at the hotel. And I think that really helped us kind of bounce back from setbacks um, with things that we weren't too happy with. And I think a, a big turning point for us was a very less than stellar Thursday performance um, and we did not <laughs> like let that phase us honestly we were just <laughs> cracking jokes like oh yeah good thing we're just saving up for tomorrow and like just to keep it light because getting down on it is just like that's not gonna do anything um, so keeping it light keeping the jokes going made it so we can come back and just try to kill prelims next morning which we did and that really just changed the whole uh, tide of the music so. I was just terrified. Um, I was just like, I remember what I was watching in final, or I was in the stands during finals thinking how in the world are they able to race? Because I was nervous just watching. And uh, I think it shows a lot of um, my growth uh, through the past five years now um, with the help of just a lot of great people in my life that I can now go into this, instead of being panicked and terrified like I was in 2016, I can go into it really excited. Um, so. Yeah, that's kind of, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now, is I'm just really excited to put, give it everything I got and put up a good performance, multiple good performances.